going on everybody it's your favorite mountain west sport bike rider mike 636 here and uh yeah we're gonna do a little motor vlogging and cruising around as the title states i just lost my fucking keys in my tail like your house keys how do you lose those in your tail i was looking for them and they were in the keyhole <laughs> I can't take you nowhere. I like how you got the GoPro on it now. Does the mount fit just fine on it? It fits all right. And like, it's kind of weird with my helmet and it's kind of angled down too much. You're probably going to have to get like an attachment like what I have. So it, like right here, as you can see, there's two of them. There's the base and then there's like an extra one that actually connects onto the camera itself. Yeah, I think Best Buy has them for like uh, 20 bucks, I think. Like, it's a whole kit too, so it comes with like adhesives and everything. I think I got it upstairs, that extra little piece. Yeah, because that'll help out a lot. It'll put the camera out a little bit. And you can actually... And you can it. swivel it and have it angled up a little bit more. Yeah. Still can't get over your fucking helmet uh, cover, dude. I thought about just side mounting. I mean, I thought about it too, but then it's always stuck to one side. It's heavy. And, uh... It's heavy, bro. No, it's just always... The way I looked at it, it's always stuck to one side. So if you're... It's on the right, left side. Yeah. You're only going to be able to see stuff. You're not going to be able to see everything there. Where if it's on the chin, it literally goes with everything that you're looking at. I mean, you could do that too. She might fly off, though. Huh? She might fly off, though. What? It might. <laughs> Alright, you ready, man? Yes, sir. Okay, so, as I was saying, this is just going to be, you know, we're just going to cruise and talk. I'm with my buddy Dylan over here. Got him out on his bike, finally. Uh, you know, I haven't actually made a whole lot of content like this in probably a good couple of weeks i know i've been slacking on getting pumping out content and stuff and all honest in all honesty um i've had some the last like three weeks have been pretty rough at least up here summer has uh <laughs> so summer has barely started for us up here and the sport bike season has just started also like officially i mean it's been going on for a few months now but we actually had three people die in the last month up here and Unfortunately, I know all three of them. One of them was actually a really good friend of mine who passed away recently. So I've actually been kind of hesitant, really, to uh, hop on a sport bike right now, especially on my bike. I haven't really had like the drive or the need to really get on it and start riding around. I personally have been almost hit about three to four different times. <laughs> It just goes to show that you know it can happen to, at a moment's notice you can lose your life you can have some person not pay attention pull out in front of you and you know next thing you know you're in the ER fighting for your life so you all know the risk when we get on these sport bikes also if you're like new to sport bike riding like don't let some motorcycle deaths be like a deterrent for you getting on a bike is still amazing it's still fun but you know, if you're going to do it, wear your gear. Definitely wear all your gear. You know, riding boots, some good leather jeans, and, you know, a nice jacket that has armor inserts in. So, you know, if you do happen to fall, you have a very strong chance of surviving this. <laughs> Woo! 
I will definitely do some reckless stuff like that. <laughs> but that's probably like the most extensive I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be trying to pop wheelies on this old girl. I love this bike too much, so I don't feel like trying to wreck her or lay her down. I will say though, that if I get another sport bike, which I'm really wanting to do, I'm gonna get probably another 05 ZXXR, just like the bike that I previously had before I bought this one. And uh, I'm probably gonna turn that one into a stunt bike and practice on it, get like the full stunt bars and everything. I would love to actually be able to like try to wheelie and stuff. News coming up. I know in one of my videos I was speaking about a local uh, videography company here in town called Burton Productions, and how I was going to actually start, you know, doing some work with them to get a nice, actual, professionally made introduction to my YouTube channel, so it's not just kind of like dull and boring or anything. But so finally pulled the trigger on it. So now we're actually going to be starting this process I already did the deposit down on it so now we are actually going to be going full speed ahead on this stuff and starting July 15th this month or yeah not this month but July 15th is when we're actually going to start filming some of the shoots and you know hopefully end of June end of July not June end of July middle of August uh Hopefully, I will be able to have that uh, intro video fully completed, and I'll actually be able to put that on some of my videos for the remainder of the riding season. I'm hoping so, but you know, can't rush quality, and I'm, you know, these guys, I've seen their work, I've seen some of their commercials they've done, they've done one for Home Depot, and they know what they're doing, and I have very strong confidence that this video is going to be absolutely amazing when they get it done and when we start doing the shoots i have a lot of ideas and so do these guys and they they're more than eager to be making content with us or at least for me and with me to you know boost my channel up and make it a little more professional more eye-catching and definitely something everyone that watches my channel comes to my channel is going to enjoy and want to watch i will say though that uh, i do need to get like a 360 camera because if i'm being honest like this whole like camera thing right up front is all nice and fun and dandy but like as you guys have noticed in my uh other videos having it up front like not bad but when you're trying to lead a pack it kind of defeats the purpose of having having a camera up front when you're leading the pack and you can't get shots around so by all means i've been wanting a 360 camera i just don't know what to get or what attachments to get to get like good 360 content with i love that mustang by the way dude just completely has modifications on it like beyond compare i think he puts out like a thousand horse on it he said he's got like two massive turbos on it and uh yeah that thing sounds nice it's mean looking it's mean sounding not looking it's missing the entire front end <laughs> but um what was it saying oh yeah 360 camera so any one of y'all know about a good 360 camera that i can attached to my bike so I can actually get some 360 shots while I'm out on rides and stuff so I actually can have you know better footage to put on my channel and making the videos like by all means comment it down below put a comment down tell me what it is and you know I'll take a look at it because if I'm being perfectly honest I've been wanting one I've been thinking about like also using my other GoPro and like putting it up here but I got a sticker right there as you can see so mounting is an issue i could definitely mount a 360 or at least something to my uh mirrors but really i uh i don't know i just i've been wanting to get one for a minute especially since i've seen other content creators and other sport bikes or other riders on uh youtube having 360 cameras and 
honestly their footage is really nice so I've been kind of biting at the bit to get one just don't know exactly what one is a good quality or best bang for the buck type of situation so like I said if you got something if you got a 360 camera that you know one of your friends use or you personally use and you like the quality out of it then by all means like comment down below what it is and I'll go take a look at it and you know maybe I'll, if I like it I'll pull the pull the trigger on it and you know I'll start getting some 360 footage up too the say is you fucking cheated what? I said you cheated on Broadway <laughs> it was hard to do the hard count Fuck, that's where you just use a horn. I know, we should have <laughs> used a horn. <laughs> oh, boy! I don't know how it looked on your camera, but from my angle, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that broke. Yeah, that's what we need. Bet. 